Hey folks, Sam Luce here. Thanks for checking the video out. I've got another Logic Pro quick tip here for you, and this is using markers. Now, I love using markers, and I feel like the people who don't use markers don't really fully appreciate how easy they are to create and how much you can do when you're working with them. We're gonna look at how to create them so easily to really navigate your session well, and then it's a super cool little trick at the end. Let's check it out. So this is a uh, gypsy jazz kind of track that I'm working on at the moment. Just take a listen. It's cool, it's jaunty, Django Reinhardt kind of stuff. Now, when I'm doing this kind of stuff, I'm working on not necessarily verse, chorus, but I'm working on like A section and B section. And sometimes I may want to shift some stuff around and I need that to be marked. So I need to know exactly where stuff is. It's a super easy way of creating markers. You don't necessarily need to go into your global tracks and all that kind of stuff. Here's how we do it. So we know that this is the A section. This is the first section. So I'm going to hold option or alt and press the apostrophe. That's gonna create a marker for me, you can see it here. And now whichever marker my cursor is kind of on, I'm gonna press shift and then apostrophe, and it's gonna enable me to rename that marker. So I'm just gonna call that A. And then the next section. In real time, I've just held option and pressed apostrophe again, and I can create marker number two. So then press shift and apostrophe, and I can name that B section. So I can name all these sections and then show you a cool way of moving these around to create a different kind of format for my song. Okay, so this track is all marked out now. I've got A, B, C, A, B, A, A. That's kind of the format of it. But sometimes you don't necessarily want to keep it like that and you don't want to have to like drag stuff and create regions and all that to kind of reformat stuff. What about if I don't want it to go A, B, C, A, if I want it to go A, B, A, C, or if I want to move another verse or a chorus in place of that? We can do that in a really easy way. So let's just jump into our global tracks for a moment. I'm just going to press G and we can see our marker tracks here. Now we've also got arrangements. Arrangements are cool, but they're a little bit, I kind of find they're a little clunkier. You can't create them quite as easily and they just rename stuff for you. So if I were to create an arrangement marker here, then it would just automatically call that intro. Well, maybe that's not the intro. Maybe I'm not working in a standard kind of song format. So if we get rid of that, what I want to do now is convert my markers into arrangement markers, and there's a very good reason for that. If we go over to our marker track here and click on the little arrows, then we can go convert to arrangement markers. If we just select that, then we've now got A, B, C, A, B, A, A, in the same way as we did with the normal markers, but we can do something very cool here. If we don't want it to go A, B, C, A, we want it to go A, B, A, C. We want to switch around that A and C, or anything. We can switch around a verse or a bridge, whatever you want to do. We're just going to select this A section, and just drag it over to where the C is. And you'll see instead of A, B, C, A, it turns into A, B, A, C. So you can move around arrangement markers and that's gonna move all these regions as well. If I just undo that, you'll see these regions just here. So we've got the green one and then the red one. As soon as I move those over, it's shifted that across. It's such a unique and helpful tool for allowing you to rearrange stuff. And especially with this kind of track, like this is a track for sync. So it's not necessarily a, a standard format kind of song, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, whatever. I just want to have sections, my A section, my B section, my C section. I can move stuff around. I can see what works best and I can reformat my song so easily using markers first and foremost, but then converting those to arrangement markers. Hope it's been useful for you. Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you again soon. Take care.